Hey guys, so uh, I just wanted to have a close look here at the FlyMe uh, software. Have been corrected. It is called FlyMe uh, on the Mizu M2 Note. So uh, I wanted to see uh, basically what it brings to the table in terms of the software here. And I was quite surprised actually uh, to see that this is actually running Android 5.1 here, which is uh, very nice. Uh, you don't usually get that on uh, cheaper devices as you can see uh, it is based on 5.1 there so that is uh, quite up to date and will have obviously a little bit more in the way of uh, speed compared to older versions of Lollipop uh, and the actual interface itself uh, there's no app drawer uh, so you will have to plonk all your icons somewhere on the desktop but you can make use of folders a little bit and uh, I have uh, basically got to grips with navigating around it a little bit now so for example there is no uh, dedicated back button as you can see uh, to go back uh, you just basically swipe to the left on the uh, home button here which is quite ingenious I've not come across something like that before so if I just uh, show you here you can see that goes back uh, within the settings as well you can also put on a uh, like a smart button uh, which I'll just show you uh, now if I can find it there we go somewhere down here so you got this smart touch uh, kind of button here which will hover on the screen uh, and you can actually use that to navigate around uh, the OS as well so if you want to go back you can just uh, click that and it goes back uh, if you want to access the uh, the um, notification shade you can click down you can see it comes down quite quick so uh, there's quite a lot of uh, mastery here involved uh, with this uh, OS and also uh, you can basically double in fact hold it down and that will click off the screen as you can see uh, and then hold it down again and then that will go back into it uh, so it would have probably been nice if you could set it up so that it goes straight into the camera uh, when you do that but you can make it so that uh, you can swipe up as you can see on the screen and that will go back into the OS and I'm sure that you can probably map it so that you can get access to the camera uh, quite quick maybe somewhere in here uh, so yet to really explore that too much but definitely worth checking out there uh, other things we can have a look at here is the actual main kind of apps here that you will find in fact let's just uh, turn this thing off because it is going to start hovering over the screen uh, so you can see that we do have the phone here and uh, we can just go to the dialer and call someone see how it looks you can either press one now to top up using a credit card or press two to send a free call me back text to the person you're trying to reach so very clean there you know not too offensive really uh, and also the uh, messaging app is also quite nice and clean here as well uh, so um, you, you can see there that uh, I think while the uh, the fact that they've integrated like navigation to the this little button here is quite interesting you can be prone to touch it every now and again without meaning to so a little bit of a double edged sword I think there but uh, in terms of the actual uh, other stuff we can have a look at the settings and go into the display option so if we just go back here and see here you can see we do have some interesting screen settings here dynamic blurring uh, which I'm, sh I'm assuming that kind of blurs the animations a little bit like when you're going in and out of stuff and uh, makes things look a little bit more elaborate. I'm going to keep it on low though. You can also change the uh, 
the screen properties to be a little bit colder or warmer to your heart's content which is quite nice a lot of people have been asking about the uh, audio quality on this phone uh, and uh, I've got I've been using my Bluetooth headphones a little bit with it and it seems to be about uh, decent uh, compared to some other phones not mind-blowing not the sort of quality you'll find on like Z3 plus and it's high-res audio uh, but very decent it does seem to have some interesting things built into the music such as this Dirac HD sound uh, you can put that on when you have some earphones in there uh, and as you can see there's some profiles there so you don't really get that usually on budget phones which is nice to see uh, there's also an equalizer in there as well uh, you do need to put the earphones in to get access to some of the settings uh, you can have a look here what it looks, what it looks like so it's quite a simple interface for the music you get access to your playlist creator and then you can actually change the presets here have recent ability to go back to things so you can search for music as well which is quite nice so it looks like quite a basic music player here uh, you know it does the job uh, really and uh, also uh, we can have a look at uh, the actual widgets here uh, I was a bit weird it was a bit weird because you can't actually uh, it seems to put like a clock widget on. I have had to install these like third party ones here uh, as a clock widget. So there doesn't seem to be a clock widget there. Uh, but you can see we do have other things such as music, uh, memos as well, and uh, some other stuff there from the apps themselves. Security center as well, which is quite interesting. So. Uh, obviously uh, we do have uh, these other things as well such as painter uh, so this was a preloaded app so you can get your kind of note experience here on the cheap very nice for budding artists uh, and also I've shown you the personalization I might do a dedicated video checking out the themes here for this device uh, you can see we do have this security sensor and you can just basically scan to see any issues here you don't need a third party which is quite nice and it scans for viruses as well uh, so I think that's uh, about it. There's probably other things as well that I've missed. You can see we do have a document uh, manager here installed, which is nice. Uh, so that gives you access to all your stuff. And uh, has this finished? So you can you can do other things as well, such as manage your traffic and permissions so you know so far I'm thinking that this is quite a nice uh, UI actually it's not uh, too kind of bad in terms of like uh, ruining the lollipop experience uh, it seems to be quite easy to get used to here and the actual hardware itself is really good on this phone it's obviously a full HD display uh, the uh, device itself feels quite solid it's quite uh, well built doesn't feel too creaky 
uh, better than like your on a 4x kind of thing if you're also looking at that in terms of the build uh, I have given it one charge and it seems to charge relatively quickly as well which is good uh, so uh, I'll definitely be doing some other videos checking out the actual performance of this phone against some others uh, you do actually get a performance mode which you can see I've put on there straight away uh, you can also do a power saving mode which is quite interesting uh, so uh, yeah so I just wanted to do a quick little video here checking out the uh, user interface on the M2 Note hope you found it helpful if you're looking at this device and uh, I will see you in the next one. Cheers.